feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Also, check out our Facebook page, Slamfire Productions. Link in the description. Welcome to Slamfire. So today, we're talking about 22s. Whether you're just getting into shooting and you want to start out with something that's a little bit lower caliber, or you're an avid shooter and you just want a good plinking rifle, there are actually a lot of options out there. Now, some people think that they're limited and that there's only Ruger or Savage, and that's it. There's actually a lot of options, and we're going to show you just what those options are. Right here, I have a Savage. Now, I'll admit I don't know what model this is because it's uh, one of those owned by my great great grandfather kind of guns, but it's a bolt action 22 and has a five round mag. And they still make rifles like this. A Savage does. A lot of people make bolt action 22s that you can find for target shooting. And it's really great for beginners uh, because it teaches shot discipline and not just rushing through your ammo and rapidly firing. It teaches you to take your time and line up between each shot. Alright, next we have the Henry. So if you're into uh, cowboy action or you just love western movies, this is a great 22. Uh, it's just fun to use and uh, it's just a great little plinker. This one holds about 15 in the mag tube and uh, that'll vary depending on whether you're using 22 short or 22 long rifle. Next we have the Ruger 1022. This is one of the most popular 22 rifles on the market today for good reason. Uh, very reliable, very accurate. I use mine as a precision plinking rifle, which is why I have a scope on here. But there are different stock kits and you can pretty much modify it however you want. And uh, with that you get 10 round mag. You can also get the uh, 25 round. This is the Ruger BX25 mags. Next, if you're into something a little more tactical, there's this. This is an HK MP522, and uh, I've kind of modified mine a little bit. Uh, normally, it just comes with the standard MP5 handguard, or you can get it as the SD model, which ha looks like it has an integrated suppressor. So I went with the standard model and uh, put a rail on it, a vert grip, and a red dot and it has a collapsible stock and then a fake suppressor to hide its extended barrel. And this is a really nice gun uh, just because if you want something a little more tactical or to shoot a little bit faster, this is a good gun for that. And then last, but definitely not least, you have this. Now, there are plenty of 22 ARs, but this isn't the whole gun. This is just the upper because this is a conversion kit. Right here, I have my stag lower, and uh, it's set up for 5.56223. You can take this, this is a, a Kiapa 22 upper, just snap it on, and when you do, now you're ready to shoot 22 LR. Just take your mag, slip it in, and you're good to go. This is also another great gun if you want to have something that's a little bit more tactical. Then you can put a rail system on this, different kind of optics. ARs are very customizable. Um, and again, like I said, you can just get a 22 AR, but if you want, there are plenty of conversions out there uh, so you can shoot less expensive ammo. So there you go, a lot of options. You're definitely not limited. And um, just make sure you do your research and get the 22 that's best for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Shoot safe. Thank you.